Hey y'all, how's it going today? Um, as you can see here, we've got the Ford Dually and the Chevy flatbed sitting there. So out of the half a dozen votes that I got, this is the one that I got the most votes for. So we're going to do the Dually first. Um, I'll do the Ford and the Chevy here. I'm still going to do those two. I'm just not going to do those right away. Now, I don't think I can do all this in one video. I think I'm going to have to break it up into two. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I guess the first thing we need to do is we need to pop these babies apart. Now, the Chevy's easy. Let me get one of my little padded mats over here. This used to be a gardening knee pad that I cut into pieces. It gives me some padding to do some drilling or whatever else I need to do. So let's get started here. Try to center this. So we got three rivets we got to get rid of. We got this one, there's that one in the middle, and then there's one at the back by the trailer hitch. So let's see if we can get these out. these plastic chassis the good part is, is you don't have to drill much like that one there is already cocked off to the side Let's see if we can get it a little bit here now you want to be real careful when you're doing this because accidents do happen I've been using power tools most of my life I'm pushing 50 years old, and even I still make mistakes, so that's going to happen. So you got to be careful when you're using power tools. Okay, so I think we got the Chevy apart. Okay, we got the Chevy apart. Now that we got it apart, you can see there's three more rivets here. Well, actually two to get the bed loose, so let's get those off. I try to go slow when I'm drilling just because if you go fast there's more chances to make mistakes there, now we're popped off so the slower you go the better it's going to turn out and if you use a good sharp drill bit you don't have to drill so much a few turns with the drill and it's good okay so now you can see we got the flat bed off We'll set this over here because I'm not sure what we're going to use of that yet. Now let's get the Ford apart. Ford's a lot different. So we got the main rivet in the front, which is easy. That should come off pretty easily. But the bad ones, see they're painted, see if I can get them to focus in here. They're painted red right behind the back wheels. And when I, I don't know if you saw the video where I did my, the police truck I turned into a, I painted green. Um, those rivets didn't come out very well, so let's see how well they come out this time. Oh, this one's coming out a lot better than the other one did. I think I got those two popped. Let's try this one. Okay. It wants to come, it just needs a little persuasion. So let's get this under here and we'll see if we can't pop that off. See, that'll do this. Unless, I was going to show you this beforehand and I forgot. So at least that grill is. And it was that loose before I even. Well, it's kind of hard to see. That, that bumper, I'm sorry, grill. I don't know why I said grill. That bumper is very loose. We're going to have to do some work on that. I think I may have to hit this one more time. There we go. And there we go. 
we're completely popped off. There's the chassis, and there's the truck. Now we got to do is we got to pull all this, pull the interior out. Can't tell how that windshield's in there. It looks like it was popped in. Okay. The rear window has rivets in it. Well, we're going to try to not take that out. What we need to do is get this bed out, though. Let's see what the best way is to get that out. I'm have to get a, a little flathead screwdriver here. There we go. Bed's out. Okay. So that's the start of that. So now what we're going to do is right here behind the the cab, this line right here, we're going to try to cut that line off. We don't want to lose any of this material. We just want to lose the back of the bed. And then again, like I said, you really want to be careful using power tools. I'm going to use my Dremel because that's what I have. Um, again, I've, I am a person who enjoys instant gratification. So hand tools usually go a little slow for me. So we're going to use power tools today. I may not be able to show this just because of the angle and how I'm going to have to cut this. So let me just cut this off real quick and then we'll go back at it. See what I mean? Still gets away from me once in a while. bed cut loose and you can see I got a little bit of sanding to do here or well, filing I'm gonna use a file we're just gonna take a flat file and try to smooth that down a little bit I'm gonna do the other side the other side I was able to get closer so there's not as much sanding on that side I'm sorry. I'm doing this off camera and I'm not supposed to be. So what I'm doing is I just took a file. I filed down the edges to where they're nice and smooth. So I can get to focus in again. So there we are. And we just got to line this up on here and we'll be in good shape. So actually ought to go pretty easy. So now... Let's get the chassis back over here. Let's pop this back on. And then let's see. It's not on all the way. I see why it wasn't on all the way. See these tabs sticking out from the bumper? Those weren't put on. Oh, shoot. These tabs that they put on themselves, how far they stick out? And they stick out way too far. I may have to cut those down to get that chassis back in there the way it should be. For, though, for that, let's use our little side cuts. Again, if this bumper falls off here, it's not a big deal. I'll just glue it back on. 
Yeah, I'm surprised this thing ever went on here to begin with. Okay. So let's see how we fit now. Oh, yeah. That's the way she should be. All right, sets up a little back a little bit here. We have to raise that up a little bit once we get the bed and everything in there. I'll, matter of fact, after I put the interior back in, it might just level it right back out. Let's see what happens here. There we go. So that just leveled her right back out. That's all it needed. Okay, now for the flatbed. You can already see that to get this to work on here, these fender wheels have to go. The good part is, is this is plastic, so we can cut those out of there with no problem. A little snip here, a little snip there, one down the middle. Just a couple snips here to make her bend a little easier. Then once you bend the tabs up, you just cut them off. Bend this tab up. That one already pretty much broke off. Bend this tab around. Cut that tab off. We can just cut that one off where it sets. Okay, now we got those off. Now we just got to cut this flat. Okay, now. So that's what it looks like. If I can get it to focus in again. That's one fender wheel gone. You can see the other one's still on there. Once we get the other one to match, we'll have a nice level frame to set our bed on. So we just come in on this side and do the same thing. A few little snips. Bend a couple tabs over. Actually, these are just snapping right off, so you can't beat that. Snip that one off. And then again, just come through and we cut the fender wheel flush. There we go. Fender wheel is quickly removed. So we get the cab back on here. Now I'm going to set the bed on here and see how that's going to work. It's actually going to look up, look pretty good once it's done. So what is this? 12 minutes and we've already got just about got it set up. So now what we got to do is I got to take my Dremel or a file. You can use whatever you want. These little tabs here. There's one there and then there's one in the back. Those are the rivets that held it on. We got to grind those down, flatten those out. And then it's just a matter of how we're going to make it fit on here. I don't know if I want to lower it down just a little bit more. If I do that, then I'm going to have to cut off a lot of this front part right here. This will all have to be cut off. I'll cut that off with my Dremel. That'll take a few minutes, so I won't do that on video on the camera right now. So cut that off. We'll make this a little shorter. On both sides, both of these tabs. I'm sorry, I'm so far back away. Yes, yeah, so we'll grind off these two tabs. We'll cut this down so that it sets down lower. So that when we set it on the truck, the whole bed will be closer to the tires. So that's where we're at for this part. I'm going to stop the video here and I'm going to call this part one I'm going to cut these two tabs off of here I'm gonna cut this off of here with the Dremel and then I'll start part two of the video catch y'all next time